Hi, this is a message from Herman Bell. Here's something direct from me. So where to begin, what to say. As I want you to connect with me, want you to feel my hand in yours, want you to see and experience my journey. Welcome to this episode of Rattling the Bars. I'm Eddie Conway, coming to you from Baltimore, Maryland. Recently, a political prisoner in the state of New York named Herman Bell, who was a member of the Black Liberation Army and a former member of the Black Panther Party, was assaulted and attacked in a New York State prison. And we want to look at the circumstances of that attack and what it actually means for this particular political prisoner who has been in prison for several decades now. Is there an investigation, an internal investigation by the administration on this? From what I understand, but, uh, you know, they would know more about what's going on internally. But there's still, it's important to note that there's still these very serious disciplinary charges against Herman. Uh, and I, I would want to add that not only does he have a clean disciplinary record, the following day, September 6, he was scheduled to have his first three-day family reunion visit with his wife in nearly three years. So you're saying three days before that visit that y'all have been fighting for for years, he mm-hmm. got beat up? Right, right. Now, I don't know. I could speculate that this guy knew that he was going to have the visit, and that's why he started. I don't know. How do I know, you know? Okay. But that, that's a fair sub- speculation, you know? I, I'm not going to ask you to speculate, but does it seem like this might have been uh, an incident created to stop him from uh, getting parole or uh, winning release? Well, that, that certainly is not beyond something that they, they would do. He was on the phone in the yard. He was talking to me in the morning of September 5th. He was on the phone. When we were on the phone, I remember him saying, oh, there's some guys having a fight over there, just two guys, you know. It, it's, hap- it's a common occurrence. It happens. And then he said, oh, there's another two guys over there having a fight. And then he, then he says, oh, now all these guards are coming out. They're probably going to close the yard pretty soon. And then all of a sudden, he goes, I got to go. Goodbye. And he hangs up the phone. And I remember thinking I never heard him hang up the phone that quick, you know. This particular prison, Great Meadow, known as Com- commonly as Comstock, is notorious for um, arbitrary, excessive force and beatings of inmates. It is a prison where 99% of the guards are Caucasian and from the area. And over 80 to 85 percent of the prisoners are men of color, and it is notorious for for beatings. There have been reports on it. There have been exposés in the newspaper, and uh, essentially, they get away with it. They very well know who he is, but it's also uh, it's 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 systemic. The violence is systemic. This guard thought that Herman hung up the phone too slow, like one or two seconds too slowly. And I, apparently Herman was in line with the other guys to go back to the, you know, you go back in through the same way. Every, they were all lined up to do that. And then this guy Saunders pulls Herman out of the line and takes him, you know, tells him to put his hands behind his back, but no cuffs. They, that's how they do it in an escort. They uh, walked into it, another area. It was a foyer between two mess halls or something like that. There were, were no cameras in there. There were no other prisoners in there, you know, and it was only Herman he took there. And then all of a sudden, this guard Saunders hauls off and, and hits him. And he, he told me he was so shocked and stunned that he did that. He couldn't figure out why would he do that. You see, I'm not a criminal in the strict sense of the word. 
I never posed a danger to civil society. I never sought personal gain from my political actions, never robbed, never threatened, coerced, nor intimidated anyone in civil society. I never sold drugs, but I did, as did many others, militantly resist the unrelenting structural violence of white racist domination and control that has afflicted the black community since black people were brought here as slaves. They picked him up at one point, you know, just lift him off the ground. One of them did that so they could knee him in his chest, and that's how he, they broke his ribs. And they, and then another one grabbed his head and, and on the left side of his head and slammed it into the concrete ground three times. Throughout his years of imprisonment, Herman Bell has been actively working to serve the interests of the community. He has started uh, garden projects in Maine to help communities that were in food deserts. He has actively helped organize uh, activities around the United Nations human rights programs and encourage other young people to engage in school, college, etc. Since Herman Bell's beating, he has been moved to another prison and placed in general population. There's an ongoing pending investigation of the officer's acts.